So I had my not very long awaited audiology appointment today, um, which I was both eagerly awaiting and awaiting with a certain amount of dread because I kind of want hearing aids at this point, but I kind of don't want to need them for the because it's a bad thing to have your body start shutting down in all sorts of various ways. Uh, it's a little disappointing because I didn't walk away with a prescription. I thought there was a chance I might even walk away with a prescription and custom hearing aids. Uh, but I don't have hearing aid, a hearing aid benefit on my insurance plan. And so um, the audiologist said what she recommended if uh step back a little bit she showed me a graph of representing where my hearing loss was that i couldn't i'm not in a position to make sense of and she said that there was hearing loss but i didn't really need hearing aids except i mean it just sounded like it was background noise and quiet speakers that I was having a problem with based on how I did on the hearing test. I told her uh, that I have a lot of customers who seem to think that volume costs money. There's the bird. And um, she recommended that I go on Amazon and get some of the over, try some of the over-counter ones that have a good return policy and see if I like what they do and then decide whether I want to just use those or pursue prescription ones, which all seemed like a strange thing for a medical professional to do. But I called member services and found out that I do not have a, have an insurance benefit for hearing aids, which seems a little weird because it's kind of like I keep thinking about how um, insurance plans often have glasses coverage, but not anything for dental, which makes sense if you're thinking about the sense that you generally need vision to work. You don't really need teeth to work, although good luck getting rich people jobs if you have poor people teeth. Um, it seems like hearing would be one of those things that they would be considered necessary to be a working stiff in capitalism, but I guess not. So, uh, prescription ones would be prohibitively expensive. I ended up doing what she said and going to Amazon and uh, finding something that looks good, though I don't actually know much of anything about any of the hearing aid stuff, but... Uh, I didn't get the cheapest, the ones I, and I, all for a couple of reasons, the cheapest um, were the old sort of go back behind the ear type, which I, wasn't a problem for me. Uh, seems like they'd be a little harder to lose. Uh, and, but they were only amplifiers. Apparently real hearing aids aren't, don't just amplify sound. So I got some that amplify the sound and also have noise reduction which I'm not sure how that works in hearing aids it might be exactly what I need because if somehow it can block out background noise but let voices through then that would greatly help me hear people's voices um, also the cheapest ones had their own Ruby had their own sort of proprietary batteries that you would then have to replace when they go dead. Whereas the ones I got have a little um, charging case like ear pods so that I can don't, I don't have to worry about special batteries and I can just charge them whenever I'm not using them. Um, they weren't the cheapest, but they were still a hell of a lot cheaper than a lot of options. All of which were uh, so much cheaper than getting prescription ones. Um, just an example, Costco is known for having cheap hearing aids. I looked and a pair of hearing aids was starting at about $1,500, which sounds like a lot, 
But if I were to get them from Kaiser, it would getting them customized would and fitted would be about between fifteen hundred and two thousand per ear. So at least Costco was roughly half of that. But I paid fifty bucks and I will get them in the mail by Monday because I paid for faster shipping and we will see how that goes.